starting with our front pattern we are going to be placing our tape on our shoulder line so we are going to be marking three inches and yes please note that this pattern is two in one so we are going to be drafting this one pattern for both the front and the back okay so please pay attention so right now i just went ahead to draw my shoulder strip so i'm i'm marking my chest line my bust line and my underbust i'm just using my tape to show you what the measurements is like so my bust line is 11 inches on the bus 14 and waistline 17 so you can see it's there marked so next we are going to be marking our neck depth which is three inches so next i'm just going to use my curve ruler and then just curve it out next we are going to be placing our tape on four inches on our bust line and then we'll be marking our nipple to nipple point which is the four inches so i'll be marking that on the bust line on the bust and the waist line now towards the center of my front pattern piece on the on the on the bust line we are going to be going inwards by 1.5 inch and then on the right side we're going to be going in by one inch so in total we have a bust that of a waist that of 2.5 inches so i'm just going to go ahead and use my ruler and then rule out those lines so the left side is 1.5 inch the right side one inch so please take note of that so i'm going to be reeling that in now from my underbust to my waistline on both sides and then i'll go ahead and use my curved ruler and connect the lines from the underbust to the bust line Next, we're going to go ahead and add our body measurement. So take note, adding your body measurement, you are not adding any sewing allowance, just your body measurement. So on my chest line, I added 9.5, which is my bust measurement. And then on my bust line, I use 9.5, which is also my bust measurement. And then for the under bust, I added, my under bust is um, 7.5 and then plus the 2.5 inches for the darts so 7.5 plus the 2.5 inches for the darts and then i just placed that and then for the waistline we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the waistline so that's your waistline measurements plus 2.5 inch for your darts and then we're going to go ahead and rule that in. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the neckline, the arm O. And when I'm cutting out towards the side of the pattern, you can see that I left about an inch gap towards the chest line and the bust line. So you should do the same thing because we'll be taking in darts later on. And I also cut out my shoulder slope. On the side of our pattern that doesn't have lines, I'll be going in on the neckline by one inch and then with that one inch mark I'm going to be drawing out my neckline to the other part of the pattern so you can see what I'm doing here I'm just going to go ahead and use my curved ruler and also my straight ruler 
and then just cover out those lines and then i'll also go, go ahead and use my marker to rule out those lines so that they can be a lot more visible on this side of our pattern paper we're going to be placing our tape on the shoulder and marking the center point of the shoulder which is 2.5 and ruling the line towards our bust line next we'll be taking our tape and placing it on our neckline the new neckline that we have right so on the inner part we'll be going in by 0.5 and outer towards our side front we'll be going by 0.75 so right here i'm just showing you 0.5 inch and then the other side 0.75 now I'm going to go ahead and connect those dots together to the bust line. So here we have our bust that. This is so that the bust will be firm and then there will be no open space, especially for people that are busty. So doing your bust that is really, really important. So I'm going to be placing what I have there out there. You can see why I said we should leave out that space so that we can add the bust that measurement there so i'm just going to be ruling that in on our pattern paper on the side of our pattern paper where we don't have the lines i'm going to go ahead and place my nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches so i'm just placing it on the bust line and on the bust and then also I'm going to rule that in. We are also going to get the midpoint of our shoulder right there and then mark it also. So we have the midpoint of our shoulder. Sorry, I didn't show you guys that part. I, I don't know why I didn't show that. So I'm just connecting it to the bust line and then from the bust line, I ruled down towards my waist next on the shoulder that we are going to be going inwards with half an inch on both sides okay so we're just going to go ahead and take our tape and place that so we are placing half an inch on both sides as you can see and now we're going to take our ruler and connect those lines those dots to our post line next we're going to go ahead and add back that one inch back to the neckline so we are going to roll that out next i'm just going to use my marker to just cross out the parts that we are going to be cutting out so that you can see it okay now we are going to be cutting our waist that now i'm going to just show you how you are going to cut out this pattern you know remember that i said that we are going to be using this pattern for both the front and back so calm down just be watching you understand what i mean by that okay so right now i'm cutting out the darts and then the neckline please pay attention now for the sides i'm just placing the two cent uh, two sides together so that they can be equal and then i'll go ahead and mark them so you i'm, I'm not confused right here i already placed on my fabric to cut okay i'm going to show you how you will cut your back for this particular pattern our zip is going to be by this side okay remember two piece two piece for your main fabric and for your lining i would advise that you use your you, the exact fabric for this both of them for both your main fabric and your lining right here i'm placing these two side by side so you make sure that both the shoulder and the waistline they match now i'm going to use my ruler so right here we are cutting for the back okay so i'll place my ruler on the shoulder line and on the waistline and i'm just going to use my chalk and draw a straight line that straight line is what you are going to cut out now with your scissors so i'm just going to cut out what my chalk marked earlier right so the straight line yes so this is what we have here now for the other side i'm also going to do the same thing the, the center i would take it and place the other side facing it okay you can see what i'm doing now i'm going to place them side by side and make sure that the neckline and the waistline 
match okay please try to make sure that they match although it might be a little bit hard because of the 2.5 inch that that we took in okay so you can see here i made my match so they are both matching and then i flipped it so that i can have a better view on the other side and then i placed my ruler on the waistline and on the bust line remember we took in um um 0.5 and 0.75 so it may not totally line right but then rule out those lines just like the way i'm doing it do yours like that okay so i just went ahead to rule that line and then we're going to use the scissors and cut it out remember i already cut out my front piece although i've not showed you guys that yet so this is what the back piece is looking like i'm going to be showing you so it's a three-part back piece with side zip okay looking all nice and pretty now you take your tape and make sure that you have an accurate waistline and bust line mine was accurate okay so accurate waistline and bust line including your half inch allowance on both sides and then your one inch allowance on the other side which is the left side and then half inch on the other side so i used one inch for the left side which is where my zip is going to be and then the other side i used half inch for where i'm going to be joining so the one inch is just for the zip allowance every other side is half half inch allowance i used okay right here i went ahead to use clothes gum to place on my fabric for a lot to make it a little bit more firm so this is what the front piece is looking like so this is the main fabric front piece and then this is for my front lining piece i went ahead to place padding because you know wearing this top you're not going to be making use of any bra so it's going to help your bust be a little bit more firm so it's going to give it a little bit of structure to the dress to the top i mean so this is my lining piece for my front and then for the back i'm going to show you guys what the main fabric piece is looking like so i went ahead to use um clothes gum and place on the front face this is how beautiful it's looking okay and then for the lining piece this is what i have so next i already went ahead to join my main pieces together so for the main piece i joined both the front and the back together on the side where we have our complete arm o you get you can see what we have here where our shoulder line is so i placed that and i did the same thing for the lining piece okay so this is what we have for our main fabric piece which is our front piece then i'll show you what the lining piece is looking like now for the lining piece right here i used um clothes gum to open the bust seam so that it can be flat that is why it's looking like that okay and then that is what the lining piece of the back is looking like so this is what it's looking like i used a very very light padding so i didn't use something very heavy this is what it's looking like now we're going to be placing them right sides facing each other so that we can sew our arm o line okay now i'm just placing my front piece which is my main fabric piece on my lining piece right sides facing each other and then i'm just going to go ahead and i'll show you where it should sew along so i'm just going to be sewing next you are going to go ahead and stitch half inch along your arm hole okay and then you top stitch it on the lining piece so that it is a little bit sturdy okay so that it stays put next um i already went ahead to stitch my arm hole piece and then i also top stitched on the lining this is how neat it's looking like the next thing we are going to be doing now is joining our shoulder okay i'm going to show you how to do that now we are just going to turn the shoulder to face each other 
and then we'll be placing you see the way i'm placing it this video is very very explanatory okay and then i'm just turning the front lining piece backwards towards the back piece okay you can see what i'm doing and then i'm just going to go ahead to use my pin and hold it make sure that they align and then i'll sew half inch along that line right here i already did that and then our 2.5 inch um fabric that we cut earlier for the neckline and the waistline so i'm just going to be placing that so 2.5 inch which means two inches for your allowance and then the main piece is two inches so i'm just going to go ahead and place that and sew that round for both the armhole and the waistline so we're going to be doing that on those two sides after that i will go ahead and fix my zip on my side remember it's the side that we are fixing our zip okay so i'm just going to go ahead and do that and come back and show you guys right here i already joined the neckline piece the two inches piece for the neckline and also for the waistline this is what the back and the front is looking like very neat and beautiful i love this top so much i hope you learned it in or two in this video please do make sure to like subscribe um yeah and i'll see you guys in my next video bye